Hello Affinity Enthusiast! In this rather short tutorial I'm going to show you how to do perspective transformation so you can align your artwork with a natural perspective of the image. Alright, let's jump into the project. As you can see I already got a backdrop here and our aim is to put my own picture into this frame on the wall. So here's the picture on the layer above, all right. It's the same ratio one to one, so that's not a problem. The problem is we need to adjust the perspective for this second layer. So first let's try to position this as close as we can above the frame. You can zoom in so we can see exactly what we are doing here. You can use navigator or shortcuts like I just did Command plus or control plus on Windows will zoom in. And now if you right click on the image and search for perspective transformation, it's not here. That's because in Affinity Photo, perspective transformation is a distortion filter. So let's go to layer, live filters, distortion, and you will find your perspective over there. You can also use the quick search menu here and you can see all of your live filters inside, below your layer panel. There's a perspective live filter, click on it. It will pop up this little window that you can use to turn on the grid. And now you will be able to distort the perspective of this layer. The cool thing about it, it's a live filter, not transformation, so it will be non-destructive as long as we keep it as separate filter layer. I just drag the corners to match with the corners in the original pictures. I got a little bit of snapping going on, so maybe I will have to turn off my snapping for this one, so I can precisely move this corner. Okay, I think I'm going to switch off all of my snapping options over here at the top and now I got full control Much better So you can precisely match this new Layer with the original perspective from the backdrop If your picture is not exactly same ratio, you will need to crop that first. That's what I recommend to do. In my case, it's exactly the same ratio, so simply perspective adjustment will do. And that's it. Let's take a look, zoom out. And I think we got quite good result with this transformation. As I mentioned, in Affinity Photo, it's not a transformation, it's more like a live filter. So take a look on my layer panel now. There's a special filter below this photo for the perspective. If I double tap on that, I can activate this again and even modify this later. So that's great. It's non-destructive and we have chance to modify this perspective filter anytime we need. All right. So Keep it as a separate layer, don't match it down. This way you will be able to make changes to it even after you reopen the document. That's how you adjust the perspective for your elements in your project using Affinity Photo. Keep in mind, it's not a transformation, it's a live filter. So you simply head to layers, new live filter, distortion, and there you will find your perspective distortion. You can also use the quick live filter menu below the layer panel as I just did. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next tutorial. If you like Affinity content, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, please consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.